Hey everyone, I'm here in Lyle, Illinois at the North American Pizza and Culinary Academy. We're going to meet Leo Spaziri. He is like the 10th level black belt of all things pizza. Such an honor to be here. Let's go meet him. Darren! What's up, Leo? What's up, man? Man. So good to see you. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having us. It's an honor to have you here. I've heard so many great things about you, your school. I mean, the pizza, I mean, it's, it's, you're, it's just spreading all over the place. I mean, your reputation precedes you everywhere. So, I mean, it's an honor for us to be here. Thank you and very to learn much. from you, uh, you know, and, and also mainly it comes back to food. We're going to eat pizza. <laughs> but uh, please, uh, uh, please tell us your official title because there's not very many people with your level of expertise. That's right. So my name is uh, Leo Spazzeri. I'm, uh, my official title is Mastro Istruttore which uh, is, uh, translates to Master Instructor um, of the North American Pizza and Culinary Academy. Uh, I'm a co-founder here along with my partner Anthony Iannone. Uh, we put this place together back in uh, 2017. We've been open for a little over a year uh, and we're part of the oldest pizza school in Italy which is called Scuola Italiana Pizzaioli. They're located in Venice, Italy and they're probably the most uh, respected pizza school in the world. So we're part of a very special group here. 26 schools worldwide. Um, when I became a master instructor in 2017, I'm part of a group of less than 100 master instructors in the world. Less than 100. And then uh, in the United States, we're actually only two um, divisions of School of Italiana Pizzaioli. One is in San Francisco, and then our school here in Chicago. Um, our school, though, is the only one in the United States that actually is 100% de dedicated to education, meaning that we're not a, a restaurant doing pizza classes in. We're a full-blown school. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, please, you know, we want to see everything that you have here and what people, uh, what you have to offer for people here at this wonderful school. And uh, please take us around and show us. So this is kind of like a, a multi-purpose room, like a big gymnasium that we, uh, we change around every single day. And then when you come in, like I said, you can see there's all these different things here. And it's, it's a pretty interesting space. I, I mean, it was shocking for me just walking in when, when I just walking in to see the space, but I got hit with just a, like a gorgeous smell in here. actually the first thing that we laid out and this really is the heart of the school and you could feel right away inside of this room and smell in the inside of this room that it's a much different atmosphere totally. here than outside so this room on the roof has its own temperature uh, and humidity controls so the only it's what? got its own mechanical system up there so inside this, here this room this room so we can actually control the temperature and humidity we can recreate any part of the world so when we do any of these styles of pizza, we can actually set up the climate and, and, and keep those doughs in the same climate, just like they would have had back at home. So in here, what we do, and actually right now the way it's set up, you can feel that it's warm in here, right? So normally the climate in here is about 78, 80 degrees, which is very typical to see in Naples, right? Humidity is about maybe 60%, 65%. And when we make that dough, we have all of this, the classic styles of machines. Four different styles of machines can make every single kind of dough that we could possibly have in the pizza world. Let me get some ingredients together and then uh, I'll show you how to stretch out a dough and then I'll bake it in this wood fire oven. You guys can have something to eat. Yeah, man.
In Italy, we say when you touch dough, you should touch it like a woman, right? Oh, yeah. You want to be gentle yet firm, yes. right? Yes. Make her know you're there, but again, it's a woman. Treat her nice, right? Now I'm going to show you how to make the classic margarita pizza. Okay? These are um, oh, those ground. Smell, those smell incredible. These are ground Roma tomatoes. Look at the red, the deepness in the in the it's red. It's a beautiful tomato, right? Yeah. Man. When we sauce the pizza, this size spoon is perfect for this size pizza. So I'm going to take one like this. We try not to get any drips. Over here in this little container, we've got some fresh basil. And then just kind of just throw them on their hole, just like that. And Fior de Latte, again, is fresh cow's milk mozzarella. We want to kind of put it sporadically, right? We're not looking for an entire layer of mozzarella, like a sheet, like we would have maybe in some of the more American styles. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. This is grated Parmesan cheese. We take a nice pinch like this, and we just sprinkle it onto the pizza like that. But uh, this is actually what we store our oil in, okay? And then we would say we would put a number six of what? oil. And again, the idea <laughs> is that, that's perfect. Good, stop. Now, the last thing we gotta do is we gotta get this pizza to the oven. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you flopped him a little bit. You flopped, dude. What's up, man? <laughs> it looks like mine's a little long. Uh... I'm not saying. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> mm. Beautiful, right? Wow. So clean, so natural. This is one of those things you could eat the whole pizza, and you won't feel like you have to go lay on the couch because you just ate a brick. You could actually go out and keep going and go for a walk and this is what it's all about. To me, this is what a pizza should be. I think this is just incredible. I can't wait. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna eat a whole pizza. We'll make a couple it's just more. delicious. Please tell everyone again, how, how can they get a hold of you guys? So you can check out all of our classes online by going to our website at www.pizzaculinaryacademy.com. You can also check us out at social media across all the different channels by searching Pizza Culinary Academy. You can find out more about me, Leo, at Ask Leo Pizza. We're also on YouTube. You can find the school and all the videos that I do and all the different content by searching for Pizza Culinary Academy. And we hope to see you all in class soon. <laughs> and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, A Biker Dude. <laughs> Thanks again, bro. Thank nice you. you man. Wow. Thanks for coming.